Hello there, this is Isix with another episode of Stellaris, where we are the Union, and we have just recently finished up our fight versus, uh, who are these guys again? The Ud Kavongo Star, Star, Star Hierarchy. There we go. <laughs> and we got some, uh, some, some, uh, space people here, our, our, our little, uh, spaceships and such. We're gonna go uh, probably send them back home to get uh, all repaired up and such. Let's go home, guys. You did a good job. <laughs> Speaking of, we're gonna send these uh, troop guys there. I forget where they end up. They're over here. Okay. So they didn't even get over there to uh, do the proper invasion, but that's fine. <laughs> so now we basically got these guys to kick around. That's pretty cool. Uh, what else do we got? We got a construction ship that's not doing a whole lot. What is he gonna be doing here? Hmm, I suspect it might be time to, uh, get to, uh, going on our uh, little, uh, adventure to, uh, to get more, uh, more energy. Yes, 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 yes. Time I. <laughs> uh, I might have to go take care of some of these, uh, these unfortunate space life that's caused me problems, uh, pretty, uh, probably here sooner in the near future. Um, but yeah, so, uh, basically, though we can't exploit it directly, we do got all these guys, uh, all these systems are effectively ours at this point. Yes, which is pretty sweet. Uh, and when we integrate them in about uh, 10 years game time, we'll uh, get two plants out of the deal, which is just very nice, very nice. Hmm. Now we need to be on the lookout for some Arctic worlds here. Yes, ocean, desert, deserts and oceans, oceans and deserts. Arid, which is pretty cool. Not good enough, really. Continental. I thought, I thought there'd be more Arctic worlds nearby. Oh well. <laughs> uh, so we got also working on getting our little uh, little doohickeys here. Where, where's my where's my science ship? Hmm. Well, I guess we should probably uh, make sure he's uh, assigned to go do some stuff here. Get these guys researched. This debris. Uh, also over here. So these things, uh, the debris is gonna sort of disappear at some point, but uh, we can uh, get get on that sooner or later, and um, hopefully everything will be awesome. Because uh, otherwise he's just sort of hanging out here. What is, what is he even doing? I don't know. What's going on here? What are you doing? Oh, you're looking at some debris here. Neat. <laughs> Keep doing that, guy! Hmm. So the construction ship, we can be all like, Hey, build me some mining stations. We also got the uh, primitive civilization here we can look at. I want to go uh, have a look at those guys at some point. It's a capital world. And, uh, these guys are bird people. What are these bird people about? They are xenophile pacifist spiritualists. Well, that's... Kind of similar to what we got. Uh, so basically the materialist and spiritualist divide is a problem, but uh, the xenophiles, pacifists, and such. Now you might be wondering why a country like me, pacifist, is being all like, hey, let's go conquer people. Well, these guys, remember, these guys are xenophobic, uh, you know, crazy people here. Just like these guys are uh, hegemonic imperialists. So uh, we kind of don't like them just in general. So, uh, <laughs> these guys are also hegemonic and imperialist, but they kind of like us, so that's cool. Uh, <laughs> maybe we can get it, you'll get a lot of them, that'd be kind of neat. Uh, but we don't much like these guys, so, yeah. I, I am tempted to go rival them. Because, uh, these guys are liking us, but, uh, maybe they're going to have butt butting heads with these guys at some point. But yeah, it's, it's generally... You know, it's like, we don't want to fight, but we know it's going to happen eventually, so we need to have a means for which to uh, expand out in a way that is going to be good for us here. So also got these guys. Hmm. They're pretty cool. These guys are as well. Hmm. More xenophobic isolationists. These guys. At least they're kind of peaceful about it. <laughs> All these pacifists. And then we got the militaries down here, which are the, are the real threat. But we're not quite ready to take them on yet. Because as if we attack them, well, these guys will probably try to bounce on us as well. And 
Not sure if I want to be doing that. Though they do kind of like us. So if we uh, take these guys outright, well, that can be problematic. Hmm, I am a little concerned about uh, pushing for a, uh, what you call it, a, uh, you know, just vassalizing them. Yeah, because, you know, powerful vassals Debris could tear up against it. It'd be bad times. Anyway, we got some uh, blue laser research going on. Very nice, very nice. Excellent. Hmm. We space rotation. We auto save. Ah, I'm spinning around. <laughs> How good. So, uh, I guess for the moment, though, until we get some uh, some new options for expansion here, we should probably start looking off uh, this world way, or maybe you not. Know, it's a tropical planet there. Too bad. Hmm. Too bad indeed. Uh, army recruit finished. Excellent. So now we got a bunch of armies on Parga or near it. Uh, and we should be good to go there. So uh, for future adventures. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, I have played a little bit of my own. Oh, we should probably get working on some of this here. Uh, fleet's orders finished. Cool. So uh, go ahead and bring these guys together. Uh, you there. Why, why have you stopped doing things? Because you've run out of orders. That's fine. Um, yeah, let's go build a mining station here. I am tempted to uh, build an observation post here. But uh, getting a few more minerals would be a, a better option at this point, I think. Uh, yes. Better option for everyone. So uh, I'm not going to uh, pounce on the, the various alien life forms until our science ship is about ready to go. Uh, we'll probably send them on a survey of something around here. Hmm. Maybe, maybe up this way. We would explore to Dorelian, the dread pirate Dorelian, uh, Clark Kent Wampus the third. Ah, oh, there's a few extra names in there. Ah, I forget these things. Been years since I remember the full list. No one watching this video knows the hell I'm talking about, but that's okay. <laughs> Alright, um. Meanwhile, after Easy goes crazy, so we should probably look into uh, building more buildings, because these guys are uh, harvesting a lot of sort of base stuff here on our guys' uh, worlds here. But we could also give them more. Speaking of more, I think I'm going to uh, upgrade this. Uh, engineering facility, that seems pretty good. Also, going to clear this. Go down here and be all like, hey, we would like to have more power. So let's get more power. Excellent. <laughs> now, uh, not, we haven't quite unlocked uh, the, uh, what you call it, the one, uh, one resources. That uh, allow you to have a uh, basically superpower plant, a uh, brathicilium, brathurium, whatever it is. And who knows if we'd even have it in our country here? A little space empire. Yes. Hmm. What's this? Ship maintenance. Okay, so we're, we're repairing our, our our guys here. Yes, get them better, make them stronger, bigger, better, faster, stronger, more. Hmm. Excellent. So I'm thinking about maybe streaming this weekend. Mm -hmm. I'll have details in another video on that, perhaps. Alright, so repairs complete. Excellent. Um, so, uh, science ship, how are you doing? You're still working on these? Cool. This guy's gonna hop out of your Polingar. Yeah, that one's uh, a little off that way, but that's fine. The, the 600 uh, day one is probably Debris higher analyzed. priorities. Alright, speaking of... Um, Got some physics out of that. Neat. Ooh, I suddenly got a package. Research <clears throat> complete. There we go. Ah, uh, we unlocked some science. Ooh, we can have a physics lab down. Hey. All right. So, uh, what do we want to do here? We can increase our uh, power plant, or we can do the solar network thing. Uh, both of these are pretty good options. Could also get hyperdrive. Level two. I don't know how that improves things. Probably a, a shorter cooldown time. 
Uh, we could also work on uh, improved deflection. Having uh, better shields and such would be pretty sweet. Uh, could also work on the blue lasers. The blue laser cult. Yeah. Well, we do so got some uh, hegemonic imperialist sticks stored to us. So maybe... Hmm. Yeah, I think having better fighting force might be the better option here. So let's uh, work on getting some blue lasers going. And then we'll be good to go. Uh, yes. More technologically advanced ships. Speaking of... Uh, we're working in the latest patch, which is 103, uh, and as such, we got a uh, few things that are different. Like, they reorganized how the, uh, the various ships and designs are, now it's done by uh, ship size. So things like, you know, the defense platform is going to be at the bottom, uh, the corvette's going to be at the top, colony ships, science ships are starting to be somewhere in the middle, I guess. And as you unlock the other various ship types, they'll be down the, the line that way. They also apparently uh, optimized some of the uh, mining station stuff. Research so hopefully complete. the game will run a little bit faster than it was before. Hey, terraforming stations. Excellent. So now we can start... Uh, there's there's no there's no simple solution to the problem of macro-scale reshaping of planetary crusts. Well, only bigger uh, trowels and or or orbitally deployed drills. New research time. Okay. Ooh. Manifest Destiny. If I don't pick this now, I might not ever run into this again. So I'm going to go ahead and grab it. Because we have plus 20% of my borders, which is nice. Means I'll be able to push back against these guys a bit. To keep them out of my territory, man. It'll also let me uh, fill in some of this gap here, which means I can start exploring more, uh, exploiting more systems. Yeah. <laughs> exploiting! That's what I do. <laughs> Alright. Uh, these guys are doing the sort of thing. You can go take care of those, it looks like. Actually, I'm tempted to go send them off to the next system after this here. So we're gonna research this project, then we're gonna go re research this one, and then bring them back to finish these two up. <laughs> the, the old station's been replaced. We got a new one on board. <laughs> Alright, so that should be pretty good. We'll get all our uh, debris out of the way. And uh, we'll be in a position to be doing some cool stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's so crazy. I'm usually so used to having Arctic worlds all over the place. Mm. Construction ship. All right. So, construction ship guy. So, uh, do we got we got an ocean world here. That could be maybe something we could do something with here. Uh, where is this? Uh, desert. Desert. Ocean. Wonder, can we freeze this planet? Could deform it uh, into a Arctic world, rocky world with a nitrogen atmosphere and uh, significant hydrosphere. Uh, oceans covered more than nine percent of the surface. Scattered islands make up their remaining percentage. So uh, this planet is decent, I'd say. So this is maybe our our, our first candidate here. Got an arid world. We got any tundra ones? That'd be pretty cool too. Uh, ocean. This one could be could be workable potentially. Uh, I don't know. Oh, it's pretty big too. We also got the uh, atmospheric hallucinogens, which are always fun. <laughs> uh, basically, they give you a society output increase, a happiness increase, and ethics divergence, which is uh, everybody's like, dude, the shoe ring. It's for you, <laughs> and, and stuff like that. That's pretty sweet. Anyway, hmm. Let's get an ocean world down here, which could be good for uh, providing some, uh, some threat to our, uh, our dynamic en enemies over there. But it's not necessarily as big. So, uh, can I get on the, uh, the transformation drain here? So, uh, planet summary. Let's see if we can... It's not within our borders. Crap. So, basically, I'd have to build a, uh, a uh, an outpost station here, which I guess I could do. So I can build the outpost, use that as a means to uh, get the the, uh, the terraforming station on here. Since I haven't done tele terraforming in any of my uh, my playthroughs, um, I'm gonna go do that. So let's uh, let's get let's get terraformed, yo! <laughs> All right, moving forward. Debris analyzed. Hmm, and this is oh yes, more more physics, more science, science for you and me. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh. excellent. I should be saving up perhaps as well for uh, more uh, space stations and such like that. Oh, yeah, I got some dudes here. Um, just to increase my uh, fleet limit. 
Because as is, with my uh, three worlds here, versus these guys' three worlds, they build stations all over all those. They get a higher uh, uh, naval force limit here, uh, or naval capacity, which means that they could basically roll over me with their fleet pretty easily. Just unfortunate. Pretty dang unfortunate. But you know how I am. <laughs> Right, I think we're going to save this for uh, future future events here. Uh, so, uh, sorry, any construction queue there? Cool. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, build ourselves a power station here. Because uh, keeping the balance of the power situation is uh, one of the more important things going forward. We're going to be building a power station here. And we're going to go ahead and clear this uh, if we can. Excellent. A little extra food, a little extra minerals. It's all good. It's all good. Um, heck, I might need to uh, build a little bit more hydroponics presently. Sure, that means I'll be able to exploit this a uh, little bit of minerals, but yeah, whatever. Gives me a little extra food to deal with, and that's good. How good? Speaking of, I don't have the next level of uh, planetary setup place guys set up yet. <laughs> hmm. Alvar Avab. Alakazam! <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know you gotta help me out. It's like, uh. These guys are. These guys are probably good and ignore us, to be honest. I. Yeah, I got an embassy on there to keep them sort of out of my hair. Uh, <laughs> now, one thing I have noticed that, uh. In integrating vassals and such is that uh, when you integrate them they get the the malice for being recently conquered debris and a little annoying hmm. More physics science hmm. but you know we can we can deal with that when the time comes yes yes we can hmm. I would very much like to get a new a new planet and it looks, if we can't complete. settle one we're going to have to build one. <laughs> uh, construction complete. Excellent. Zurichi. It's doing the thingies. Hmm. Yes. Might want to uh, deal with that. Yes. Clear that up. Give us a new option for exploitable resources going forward. This is indeed a disturbing universe. I also need to start working on my, uh, my tech output here. So, uh, that's my, my food situation here. Yeah, it's not great, but uh, it could be worse. So, uh, give me some science labs. Yeah. Science? Science for you and me. <laughs> Excellent. That'll actually go a long way to getting some stuff done. What is this about? Uh, I forget what this is about. Well, this is the, the, the crazy stuff here, the, uh, the, the the fist of God people. Hmm. Don't think I can do anything with that at this point. <laughs> uh, because these guys decided to be jerk faces and kill them for me. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, construction complete. Uh, construction complete. Construction complete. Construction Q and Zuichi. Hmm. Don't want to think build anything on this yet. Nope, I think we're good. Just keep doing things, guys. These guys are almost done. To that end, might be time to go send the fleet out and start uh, taking out the trash. Now, these are the ancient mining drones down here. Uh, did I have any missions for these guys? Just to get Kappa aliens. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and research these guys. Uh, precursors of Voltolum. Hmm. Search Matar. I guess I could go over there again. But, uh, I don't know. Uh, let's start off by. Uh, do I want to go here or here? Let's go. Let's go here because it's a little closer to our uh, survey ship, so our science ship, and we can do some cool stuff in the meantime. We're gonna send them. Uh, send our our dudes. Go destroy them. Alright, let's go. The Javanid Conventions and the Khmerian Hegemony have declared each other have declared rivals. Hmm. 
it's their, their rival. Now, if it was the reverse, that would be really good for me. I could be just like, yeah, I'm going to go say screw it to one guy and then uh, be all happy with the other. <laughs> Debris analyzed. No, I suspect I'll probably come to blows with both these guys in time. Just, I'll wait until they're at war or something like that. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so he's an analyzed debris, and we got nothing out of it. So, it's probably all well and good, I guess. Hmm. Meanwhile, we got uh, something up over here. Now, this should be... that's the wrong guy. We send this guy over here. I don't know. <laughs> Why was he even selected? I don't, I'm confused. Hmm. Oh, excuse me about that. I had a sudden sneezing fit. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> hmm. Always when I'm recording, stuff like that happens. Good God. Hmm. Ah, today's drink is grape juice. When you are feeling juicy and need some grape in you, get some grape juice. Hmm. Suddenly I'll start singing about rhubarb pie. That sounds uh, like a reasonable thing, right? Okay. Star Hunters! Get locked into the Situation Star Hunters! Cool. Now we have new debris. So, science ship, when you're done with all that stuff, go research this. And we'll have some more for you in just a moment. Hostile fleet engaged. Easy peasy. Alright, so the construction ship's done. Uh, let's go look at this guy here. No, that's not him. Um, there we go. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so now we can go over to uh, Tiffim, the, the, the second here. And we're going to build a terraforming station. Yes. So we're going to make it into an Arctic world. So, uh, oh, we do not have the terraforming station over the planet. Well, that's too bad. Uh, we also need the, uh, the the resources there, so we can't quite handle it yet. But we can get started. Um, oh, I guess we can't even build the station without the resources. Drat! Foiled again! Well, I guess we can start working, looking for the resources. Hmm. Strategic resources. Which these guys have over here. And you guys don't have much of any. Drat. Should have th thought of that, that beforehand. But anyway, we still got some uh, some options for exploiting the territory here. So I'm going to go ahead, if I can, and just be like, yeah, build some fighting stations. <laughs> that was my plan all along, I promise. Mm, mm, mm. Yes. Debris analyzed. <laughs> How's this fight going? The fight is pretty much a curb stop. Ah, blue laser progress. Cool. <laughs> we need that. <laughs> Situation log updated. Awesome. So that, my friends, is the end of those mining drones. Uh, and so the science ship will go do that, and then it will survey the system on top of that. Neat. Um, probably just go send these guys back home for the moment. And then we'll uh, sort of periodically poke our heads out, and maybe we'll get some of those resources that we'd really like to have in order to terraform our friend over there. Yes, because otherwise we don't really have any place to colonize that we know about yet. But we also got an avenue research to maybe go this way. So I think I'm going to build a new uh, new science ship. Yeah, let's go uh, let's go size it up, yo. Science. It works, bitches. <laughs> ah. Science. Simultaneously beautiful and vulgar at the same time. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, it does kind of beg the question: uh, How far can I push this thing here? Special project uh, complete. Because I'll be both void clouds. Oh yeah, these guys. This season, particular cluster of debris and space dust have yielded surprise results. The particular clouds base bristling with the powerful charge of unknown origin. There's no business exhibiting simple reflective actions, let alone movements with purpose. And yet it does. There is something undeniably ominous about the hazy subject of the relayed video feeds. Perhaps these are things in the universe we should not tangle with. Let's Situation go uh, with the Void Cloud observation. Let's go. There we go. Go ahead and research it up. Get some more knowledge. Yes. So if I were to terraform this, I could make this a tropical world. I could make it continental. I could make it arctic. But I couldn't make it tundra. Which I guess kind of makes sense. Tropical beans. Basically, uh, the, the continental one is the only thing that uh, requires just the one gas option there. 
either option, uh, you know, the other two options are going to be adding even more water to the planet. Weird. <laughs> it's like, yes, we're going to drain your oceans, but give more water to the planet in total. Hmm. Oh, well. <laughs> All right. Uh, like, has, uh, so the hegemony and doing things like that is pretty cool. Now, uh, this might make them more happy with me. Water friction, uh, non-aggression pact. Oh, yeah, we got that going on here. Um, off a trade deal, uh, would you non-aggression my face? No, you have no interest in doing that. How about a research agreement? Nope. Still not cool. Migration access? No, you don't, you don't play that game. You don't play it all. <laughs> cool. Oof. Construction complete. What's this? What's this? There's madness everywhere. Alright, uh, Spaceport Pargas finished their thing. Cool. That means we got a new science ship. Now, we need to put a uh, scientist on board this here. Uh, this here, this here science ship. Let's go recruit some somebody's face. Um, maniacal, pretty, pretty good. Research speed, military theory. Um, yeah, we could maybe uh, start by hiring this guy and then uh, move him over to a different, more different D type pos uh, position here. Because uh, these guys are pretty sweet. Having a maniacal scientist on the on the on the team, that'd be pretty cool. This guy's about experience gain plus fifty percent, and this guy he just gets old. Oh, 56, 55. Hmm, let's get the maniacal guy on the case here. I'm sure, he'll be uh, on his experience, but he is crazy, which definitely helps. <laughs> you don't have to be crazy to work for my empire, but it definitely helps. And we'll get you on the science ship here, and we're gonna go send you off into the deep space. Survey that system, and start your glorious journey around this extra spiral of the arm. It is an avenue of expansion. Star Hunter has been fully repaired. Excellent. We need some resources. We need some strategic resources in order to transform this planet. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, wonderful. Um, what's this here? Mining station. Cool. And there's another mining station to go, my friends. Yes. Also, we can now uh, exploit this system. Not quite on that one. Maybe after we get our uh, manifest destination uh, technology out of the way. That's going to be a while. <laughs> 103 bucks, but it's worth it. So, Special project complete. Void unclouded. The void clouds are, as far as the Pargolonian research can tell, among the oldest entities in the universe. They seem to have originated just a scant few billion years after matters we know it first appeared. The tremendous forces of the young cosmos making something out of nothing. They would have been stars once, but were not. Explaining their apparent animal intelligence is more difficult, but the answer might lie in the abnormality, uh, abnormally strong electromagnetic fields that keep them together. Another product of their primordial be beginnings, it is not inconceivable that, given enough time, the circulation of its strange stardust gravitated uh, field line and a flexible approximation of neural pathways. Moreover, the clouds seem to be receiving impulses from one another. It is not outright communication, light years apart. Quantum entanglement is suspected to play a role in the phenomenon. Hmm. Uh, likely void counts systems to the situation log, or they will not stand in our way. Hmm. Well, we're, we're tired of being blocked in, so we're going to go with this one. Because we're like, we, we don't want to fight people, but gosh darn, everyone's trying to kill us. Or at least pretending they want to. <laughs> Just enough for us to destroy them! <laughs> Okay, maybe it isn't, but... Hmm. Maybe I should be nice there, but... I have crazy people next to me. Both sides. Where are the Federation builders? I want to f hang out with those guys. Be friends with them. And get mutually attacked at the same time by, by different empires. And then we can't ally each, uh, ally each other because we're all uh, all busy being Evading destroyed. Fleet. Uh, space beat us. Crap. <laughs> hmm... Well, I guess that's uh, that avenue of expansion is suddenly cut off. Uh, let's go check out this system. <laughs> huh. Hmm. Well, about that. Construction complete. Cool. Um, 
surface stuff here. Hey, we can upgrade these. Neat. So uh, we definitely want to be doing more physics stuff in the future. So let's go uh, do some more physics labs here. Physics lab. Wonderful physics lab. All through the night. All right. Uh, we're going to undo this blocker as well. Cool. I think maybe we're going to start saving up for uh, new Debris space stations, analyzed. new space ports. Ports of space. Mining drone lasers. Nano composite materials. Industry. Bringing everything for you tomorrow, today. I wonder if these guys didn't expand this way. <laughs> yeah, they got a big giant space maybe up there. It's pretty crazy. It's going to kill us off if it decides to come this way. Let's hope it doesn't. I'd be uncomfortable. Alright, what do we got here? Uh, clean construction of mining station. Very cool. So that means you are done doing things. Let's get you... Uh, yeah, I'll just uh, send you over to uh, build a research station for the moment. Get us more technology! Just getting a little, little bit of a tech boost now could go a long way in the long future. The future that is long and the future long, long future. Yeah. <laughs> I don't suspect we'll get uh, anything cool out of these particular stations over here, but it'll maybe give us more events and things like that, which would be pretty nice. Hmm. Matar. I'd like to see what was in Matar again. Hmm. Yeah, you can come over here and be all like, hey. Got the continental world here. Be a shame if something weird happened to it. Construction <laughs> complete. Uh, it's still in the star, star hierarchy territory. So this is a construction queue. Cool. Yeah. So uh, we're uh, we're in the position where we're we're well established. We're uh, we got our little dudes over here. We can uh, you know maybe build a few more ships and then go off that way. But we need to have more more strength, more power. The glory, the power to find the Black Lord. I would search for the Emerald Sword. In space. <laughs> hmm. Yes. Yes. But I think we're probably about done for today's episode. I think we're just about time. But I think I'll uh, wait a little bit here. Because I would still like... Maybe build ourselves a space station. Or maybe some construction. Yes, industry, once again, strikes. Yeah, well, we'll wait a little bit here. We'll uh, build up our minerals so we can uh, build a new station and start expanding our fleet. Because uh, expanding the fleet will also help us with the space mineral problems and various related issues. I uh, hmm. I guess I could probably go take care of something up here. Let's go kill something, guys. Um, yeah, let's like just that this time. I think I figured out what I did wrong. Now let's go talk to our space maybe about these up here. Hopefully these guys don't instant kill us. That would be kind of uncomfortable. Hopefully we are strong enough to take care of them. And take care of them we shall be for which we are strong enough. Ramen. <laughs> How much of the system we got left? Oh, an alien proposal civilization has encountered the survey of Gianfar first to reveal that certain regions of the planet are home to a primitive alien proto civilization. Now, our probes showed that the Neolithic culture has mastered life, uh, fire, and developed a rudimentary spoken language. But we have yet to see the evidence of metallurgy or written communication. Interesting. Is that uh, this planet? Mineral witch? No, no that's, that's something else here. Um, these guys. Yeah. Yeah, these guys here. Yeah, we got a uh, Stone Age Permanus. Can we see them on the thing? Not really. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to maybe be careful about those guys. <laughs> could also destroy their entire habitat, which would be pretty sweet. <laughs> or I could uplift them or something. I don't know. They could do various things here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Speaking of various things, um, where's the system survey complete? Send these guys off to do something here. Let's go do something. And that uh, science ship is done doing its sciencing things. But it uh, got a debris issue here we could probably go take care of. Since the other guy seems to be taking a sweet tie with it. I know this is the wrong thing at all. There we go. <laughs> I was clicking on the wrong science ship. There we go. 
This guy will take care of it. He'll be fine. Science? Hmm. Are we... Yeah, we are actually moving. Good, 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 good. Research ding, 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 ding. Hey, more science. Blue lasers. Sweet. All right, so we're going to definitely take the synchronized defense because this is very good for having your space stations not die so quickly. I will take it. All right, so let's go look at our little sp our spaceship here. Let's give the, the blue laser upgrade. There right, we go. Now, we do got the problems with the power system here, but we can uh, upgrade that a little bit. Yep, yep, siree. We all like, hey, we're also going to take another shield here. We're going to be a little bit more powerful. Neat. So when these guys are done uh, doing their thing, we got some space stations upgrading, we can suddenly start upgrading our fleet. Which would be pretty sweet. Yeah. When you guys get your asses over there. We want to... System survey a, complete. Here's the episode of the bang. <laughs> bang. Bang. Science ship. Survey. Science. Science. Survey. Survey. All the time. Um... Yeah, we want to make sure this is this planet here. Bum, bum, that's not it. There we go. <laughs> Clicking on the wrong thing. Uh, yeah, so uh, we're going to... Let's go with the... Let's go with the, the, the projectile uh, defense model. Yes. So build us a new spaceport. In instantly increases our force limit, which is pretty sweet. And uh, yeah, complete. we can start... Uh, Getting ready for things. Uh, Zeraxim is leveled up. Neat. Finish our uh, service construction queue here. And let's try not to die too much here. <laughs> hey, Space Amoebas. You're bigger than I remember. Whoops. <laughs> but that's okay. We can lose a few ships here. I don't really necessarily mind. Kill them. Auto save. We kill them. Boom. Zap, zap, kaboom! Yes, don't synchronize your attacks against me! Don't bother losing my ships if possible. Updated. Excellent, very nice, very nice. Now, we're gonna go send these guys back. And go do that. And I guess we're gonna go, uh... Go ahead and just uh, click the, the, the upgrade fleet if we can. And we're gonna be good to go, I think. Yeah. An Admiral is leveled up, too. Neat. And I've got our uh, science ship coming in here. And we can actually probably... Research the project, and then survey the system. Yeah. So, thank you all for joining me. This has been Izix playing some more Stellaris as the Union. Until next time, everybody. Turtles. Woohoo!